Hello folks, welcome back to Light Source Engraving. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping in to check out and see what we have to offer here. Today, we're gonna have a fun video. We're gonna mark some polymer, and we're gonna mark that polymer with the Lasermatic MK2XW. It will have the 30 watt diode module removed and the two watt IR module installed. Thank you to Rich, LA Hobby Guy, for sending me his laser, his IR module, to do some further testing. Rich has done two complete videos, one unboxing installation of the IR module, and two more extensive testing of the IR module. And I'm gonna put links to those two videos down below, so please go check them out. Uh, and again, thank you, Rich, for the IR module. I greatly appreciate it. And we are gonna run a PMAG on a gantry. I'm gonna show you a few things today. The first thing I'm gonna start with is how to line up this PMAG on the gantry over here so that you get a perfect engrave exactly where you want it. And then I'm gonna show you how I, the material test that I use, and I'm gonna show you the engraving of uh, two different PMAGs. And then, I'm going to give you a coupon code so you can get the PMAG templates, the Tiger Strike camo pattern, the Lightburn file with the settings, all for free. All you have to do is enter the coupon code on my website and it's yours. All I request in return is a like and maybe hit the bell and share this out to folks that might find it useful. That's it. So let's jump into Lightburn and I'll just give you a quick glance around this file and then I'll show you how I get the PMAG lined up and set up to get ready to engrave. All right, you can see light burn now. This is the Tiger Strike camo. So I'm gonna leave this pattern in this file so you will have the Tiger Stripe camo. Here are the templates for the PMAGs. I'm gonna leave those in this file, so have that. The settings will be pre-populated. So all you'll have to do is look at the images of the PMAGs and correlate that to the collar that that setting produced. And what I'm gonna do is actually put a nice high-res photo of the PMAGs into the zip file so that you'll get everything and have an easy, easy reference. An IR module does not like paper, does not like white. So using white paper to try to set up your template is not a good idea. But even though it doesn't like paper, it does like black. So if we use black poster board or a black paper, black cardstock, or even black scratch paper, we can get a nice outline of that PMAG on here, have it held down with magnets, and then just set our PMAG directly down onto this, line it up, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna show you how I line that up and mark it and what setting I use to mark this scratch paper to get the outline to line up the PMAGs. So let's do that now. Here are my PMAG templates. So the first thing I wanna do is just run a frame so I have an idea exactly where those are gonna lay on the bed, um, but it's pretty obvious since you can use absolute coordinates with the lasermatic where it's gonna fall. Once you have your paper down and in place, what we really need to do is focus that IR module to the paper to make our mark so we know that it's 100% accurate and it's not drifted left or right, up or down. And we have to do this with fiber lasers or other lasers. If we're changing heights, we wanna make sure we're at our focus height when we're making a mark. So to make this outline, We'll focus to the paper. Focus to the paper, lock it in place. Put the focusing tab back up. Get this turned on. Now what I'm gonna run, run those PMAG templates at a speed of 500, power of 95, and it's just gonna be a line. So let's run that and see how it looks. I need to focus on top of the plexiglass, there's a scrape on it. 
but you'll see we get a nice white mark that we can use to line up the PMAGs. Once both of those are done, I'll go ahead and place the PMAGs where they're supposed to go. And then we need to refocus. So then we refocus to the top of our PMAGs so and we're at the proper depth. And a PMAG will fit. The clearance is just right to make sure that the laser module doesn't hit on the camera. So we don't have an issue there. All right, now you can see our PMAG outlines. You can take one of the PMAGs and line it up. Now this PMAG template does have the bumps built in for the ridges that are on the sides. So you just wanna line those up. And the bottom actually lines up with just below or just above the base plate. So you'll see these indentations line up. And once you have it centered, you'll see it lines up the same way on the other side. So at this point, we have our PMAG lined up. Now let's bring our module back over, we loosen it up, then crank it up. It goes high as we want since the lid's open. Now I'll just flip the focusing lever down on the IR module and draw this bad boy bed down, back down into the PMAG and then we can flip it back up out of the way. Just like that, we're in focus. Now all we have to do is home the laser and we're ready to go. Now that our laser is homed and our PMAG is lined up, that's pretty much it. At this point, we're ready to go. All you need to do is just pick your graphics and then start assigning the shades that you want to each different graphic. So let me get you some close-ups of these magazines. Uh, this isn't the exact one that I'm gonna run, but just for an example, So there's a magazine. So basically identify the shade that you want and then assign it to that color layer. Um, you just have to create presets. I'm gonna to try to export these out and actually export you out a library. So you just have a mini library of the PMAG settings. So if I can get that done, I'll include that in the zip file as well. I'm gonna be working on that as soon as I finish this video. All right, we're lined up. Next thing we need to do is just snap our artwork right into the PMAG. If it doesn't snap exactly, just move it over a little bit or up and down until it's right where it's supposed to be. And then at that point, we can run this graphic. Now, I do have these red layers as lines, but what I'm going to do before I give you this file, I'm going to make them uh, see, tool paths. So they'll be blue tool paths so that they don't accidentally burn. That way you can manually switch them over to a, a regular layer. Use that to mark your templates and then switch it back over to the tool path. That way you make sure you don't accidentally run this line while you're also running the graphics on the magazine. All right, let's get these magazines started. I'm gonna run one magazine with this graphic and another magazine with the Tiger Stripe and we'll take a look at them once they are finished. Sharp, make the haters frown. Spinning that rotary, getting that glass to clean. The scene, the 
dream This works extreme Light source videos are running the scene No limits to the hustle on this daily routine It's light source hitting hard in our shop Got the lasers burning hot Ain't ever gonna stop Make it veg drop the hits watch a pop We in the shop and we climbing to the top We need a custom piece Yeah I'm on the case Laser so sharp I can etch your face Every vid I drop blowing up in no time Fans going crazy, this grind's all mine I'm slicing through wood, etching steel with skill Precision so sharp, against the haters and chill Ain't him locked in, perfect real, no frills From the shop to the screen, I'm stacking up drills Light, source, hitting hard in our shot Got the lasers burning hot, ain't ever gonna stop Making vids, dropping hits, watch them pop We in the shop and we climbing to the top Need a custom 3D, you know where to come Lasers light it up, leave the competition numb Logos, names no doubt, I get it done Contents fire burning hotter than the sun Little bit of hustle, whole lot of fight Turn the camera on, but we're working all night In the shop daily, no time to chill We own this game, always moving uphill It's light, source hitting hard in our shop Got the lasers burning hot, ain't ever gonna stop Make it veg, drop the hits, watch them pop We in the shop and we climbing to the top Okay we have the two P mags complete. So let me get you a close up view of them in the camera. First, the tiger stripe. And next, which is, I think, a far more practical use of uh, the two watt IR on a P mag. It takes a long time to run a full magazine with full coverage. However, if you were just using it for some smaller graphics and not covering the whole thing, this does quite well and doesn't take that long, relatively speaking, compared to the Tiger Stripe. It also looks really good. So yeah, I think this practical, this impractical, but a lot of fun. Let's say you have some free time and you're going to be hanging out at your PC in your command center and have some uh, free time. Well, let the laser run while it's marking this uh, full side of a PMAG. You know, you could finish an episode of Severance by then. And then you have this option if you want something that runs a little bit faster, and say you don't have a fiber laser, don't have access to one, you can still mark a PMAG with that two watt IR. It might be slower, but like I said, this seems practical. That's all I have for today. The coupon code is PMAG, P-M-A-G, PMAG. That stands for Polymer Magazine, PMAG. Use that coupon code in the link that's down in the description and you can have the template, the tiger stripe, all the settings and the material tests at no charge. Just download. Oh, and before I forget, and I did want to show you the material test before we, before I let you go. So if you go to laser tools, material test, presets, what I'm going to send you are the these probably these three are PMAG two, PMAG three, and I think number one. And then if you like, you can preview it and see exactly what it's going to do. But I do have these settings running with offsets, scanning offsets. So be sure to preview it. Make sure that you're in bounds for your laser. That being said, 
I think that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would appreciate it. it. Helps the algorithm, all that good stuff. Thank you to my channel members. Thank you to my Patreon members for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate you. And most importantly, folks, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.